Welcome to Neyland Stadium, one of the biggest and most beautiful settings in all of college football. This big crowd ready to roar. They know when the Volunteers run through that tee, it's showtime. And a rivalry like this is what makes college football great. Yeah, the tradition and the history, but right here, right now, there's great intensity. This is why these guys came to these schools to play in games like this. As we'll see the number six team in the country, the Alabama Crimson Tide, taking on the 15th ranked team, the Tennessee Volunteers. For EA Sports College Football, I'm Chris Fowler, joined here in the booth by Kirk Herbstreit. Kirk, let's get to the action on the field. Alabama will kick it off to get us underway. And he takes this from inside the five. To be tackled at the 17. Strong job by the coverage team. The Volunteers offense making their way on the field to open this game. Here we go, Kirk. All the emotion in this stadium. Which side is going to handle that better today? Chris, we had a chance to visit both these teams. And one of the things that we saw, the clocks ticking down all year for this game, this day. Now they get their chance. Heads out of bounds after a solid game, more than enough to pick up a first down. I love to watch this offense when they can dominate the line of scrimmage and have a talented back behind them. You continue to pick up first downs, you get the rhythm going. We've been watching Tennessee offenses do that for a long time. The balls will hustle to the line here to run the hurry up. He hands it to the back. The gain is three. Now it's second down and seven. Well, Kirk, you played in plenty of rivalry games. How do they feel different from the others? Well, Chris, rivalry games, and, and depending on who the coach is, this is a game you think about all year. You know, you're working out in the weight room. You're doing drills in summer two-a-days. Everything is focused on getting to this game and playing your very best. They're going to run it. Matt gets the carry. Brought down, but not before he gets into enemy territory at the 49. Chris, if I'm not mistaken, this guy's already over 30 yards on the opening drive of this game. Another nice play right here. If this defense can't stop him, just keep feeding him the football. The Volunteers will have first and 10 here. Scanning the field. It's Ayamaleva. Tries the right with a quick throw. Looks downfield and connects with a wide open wide receiver. They bring him down, but the freshman quarterback showing off the arm strength. Chris, how about the offensive balance these last couple plays we're seeing from these guys? Not only are they balanced, but the explosiveness. A big run followed up by a big play through the air. Man, it puts a lot of pressure on this defense. Here's the toss play. Runner heads outside. It's a one-yard game. Second and nine coming up. You know, in the era that we live in right now, everybody wants to spread the field around, try to create space, try to create one-on-one -on -one matchups, and the defense is countered over the years by trying to play out wide. But here's a great example of a defense. Has the ability to play wide, but still be solid at the line of scrimmage, not give up big run plays. Looking to pass here on second down. Grab down the middle. It's McCoy. Tackle made after a nice pickup on the play. What a great throw and a first down for Tennessee, and they are in business. This quarterback is playing well, and, you know, Chris, they are able to recruit the nation when it comes to quarterback play because of the history and tradition they have. Started really with Peyton Manning, but has worked its way through. Think about T. Martin, won the national title in 98. Hendon Hooker, what he did a few years ago. Go back to Josh Dobbs, where they've had some great quarterbacks that have played here. Off the play fake on first down. Makes the throw across the middle of the field. Physical defending. That one falls incomplete. Brings up second down. Chris, I thought he had his hands on that football. I thought he was going to come down with it. But give the defense all the credit with a big hit to knock that ball loose. Second and ten here. Takes the handoff. It's Selden. The gain is eight yards, so it sets up a third and two. Man, you know, the back gets a lot of the attention here, and he's a good back. But 
I love to see that offensive line win the battle of the line of scrimmage. And the Vols will hustle to the line to crank the tempo. They'll try to move the chains here on the ground. They'll stop him behind the line for a loss of one. Well, there's that excellent linebacker with a clear path just running downhill quickly. You know, I think one of the great things about watching this guy play all year is his vision. He just has great instincts. That time, the defensive line ate up all the linemen, freed up the linebacker to get into the backfield, and the result is a tackle for a loss for the backer. Kick is good. Gives the offense three points to show for that drive. So we have our first points on the board. That makes it 3 nothing. I was watching this guy in pregame. He has got a strong leg. Not surprised here he's able to put three points up here for the offense. They come away with three points on the drive, and now the kickoff team will boot it away. Fields it just outside the goal line. To be tackled at the 17. Strong job by the coverage team. So Alabama's offense takes the field. The first chance we had to see them today. Well, it's not easy to narrow down the impact players to just a few guys, Kirk. But what do you expect from them today? Well, we got guys that can make plays as well as anybody in the country on both sides of the ball. That's why I think this matchup is so exciting. Two good teams with great individual players. Tackled behind the line. It's a loss of two. Chris, this is what I love to see from the defense. Is the linebackers are scraping, doing their job, but you need help from the secondary. And when you have aggressive tacklers on the back end, you got a great defense. This time, the secondary makes the difference. And this crowd coming to life here, trying to help the defense get a stop with the offense pinned back. That's a nice tackle there by the senior. And remember, the last time these rivals met Kirk, these guys dropped the hammer. It, it got ugly. And Chris, don't underestimate the mental anguish that that can put on a team. It's important that this defense plays well and tries to get the ball back to their own offense to give them a chance to build their confidence up. Just underway, and this home crowd is fired up and ready to make a difference today. Fires it to the wideout. Easy throw to a wide open receiver downfield. And he breaks clear down the right side. It's a foot race. No stopping him. Takes it all the way. Touchdown, tied. Well, that's a well-oiled machine right there. Everyone on this offense has been a star in their roles. And when they're rolling like this, it results in quick and positive results. So they'll try to add to the lead now with the PAT. Kick goes through, so it's 7-3. Now the kickoff team is out on the field. They'll return it from inside the five. And the coverage team gets the returner to the ground. And Tennessee's offense back out on the field now. Last possession produced a field goal. No doubt they're thinking touchdown this time. And he'll pick up the first down, stopped at the 27. Look, I realize on any play call, when it's properly executed, it can go to the house for a touchdown. But the runs that really make a game plan work are the ones where you get just what you need. And he barely got the first down, but he got it. And the volunteers come to the line to run the hurry up. First down, right back to the running game. They get him down, but the junior with an excellent run there. 
You know, offensive linemen are just a certain breed. They're always going to do their job, no matter who's back there carrying the ball. I'll tell you what, they have a little bit more confidence when the person that's carrying the ball can break off some big-time runs. That makes them block just a little bit harder knowing what he's potentially capable of doing. Kibbe decides to keep it here. Gets the first and still running. There's the tackle, but first down yardage. Man, is this guy difficult to deal with or what? When your quarterback can just say, I am pulling this down and I am taking off myself on the option. He has that kind of speed. As a defense, all you can do is just say your prayers. The ball's getting set on first and ten. Using his legs, it's Samson. And he stopped after gaining four yards, so second and six. Chris, it's the consistency of this back is giving this defense fits. They've got to come up with some changes up front. This guy's already over 50 yards, and if he keeps running the way he is, not only is he having a great day, but it's going to give this quarterback a chance to hit some big plays downfield off play action. Looking to pass this time. Makes the grab. It's Samson. And he'll head out of bounds, but not before picking up enough for a first down. Chris, I love the versatility of this running back. We're seeing what he can do on full display on this drive. He's been running the football very well. This time, they get him the ball out of the backfield, catching it, and he gets another positive game. First down, looking to throw the football. That one falls incomplete. Good defensive play, brings up second down. And the ball is handed off out of the shotgun. They'll stop him behind the line for a loss of one. Chris, that play just didn't have much of a chance at all from the snap. Quarterback hands this off, and there's just nowhere to go. It's almost like the defense was anticipating the play call, and they put themselves in a position to come up with a nice tackle for a loss. The Volunteers will come to the line to run the hurry up. Out of the shotgun, he hands it off. He's not going to get the first down. It's fourth down now. The balls will have to punt this one away. And the kick angles out of bounds, so no return possible here. Here comes the Alabama offense onto the field. They scored a touchdown on their last possession. Let's see if this defense can make adjustments and prevent that this time. Tackled behind the line. It's a loss of two. Chris, I think we all kind of get caught up in third down. What, what's an offense doing on third down? But I think what's also important is how well you defend first down. If you can hold your opponents to a short gain or a tackle for a loss, you throw the offense out of whack, and their game plan gets much more challenging to try to come up with that first down. Defense makes the tackle as the final seconds of this first quarter run out. So Alabama will take the lead into the quarter break here. And at the end of the first quarter, let's check out the stats so far. They've flipped ends of the field. We're ready now for the second period. And wow, listen to this crowd noise. This stadium is vibrating. That's why this is such a tough place for visitors to play. And the game just good enough for a first down. That's a great feeling when your quarterback can make a throw that keeps the drive alive. Not as good as a touchdown, but it's a lot better than having to trot over to the sideline waiting for your turn to get another chance. Fresh set of downs for the offense. First down.
Out of the shotgun, he'll hand it off. It's a two-yard gain. Second and eight coming up. Chris, you know, the spread era over the years has always grown offensively, but I've been always impressed with the defenses that really build their defense to play in space still have an ability to be sound at the line of scrimmage and defend a running game. It's exactly what we saw right there. Handing off on the draw play. The senior able to make the stop after a short game. Offense facing a third and long from the 28. Got to have your pass protection in order in this play. Dropping back. It's Milrow. Looking to set up a screen pass here. Yeah. They bring him down, but not before he gains first down yardage. Yeah, you know this defense has got to be frustrated after giving up multiple conversions now on first downs. There's another one. But for the offense, man, they're just playing very efficiently right now. This Alabama offense is moving quickly down the field. Looking to throw it on first down. And he lofts it toward the left sideline. This one is broken up and falls incomplete. But Chris, the offense takes a shot downfield, and this defender does a great job of making a play on the ball. Not only that, he tips that ball up into the air. Good chance for the defense to come up with an interception there. Important second down play coming up. And the back now goes in motion. Quarterback wants to throw it on second down. Caught behind the line. It's Haynes. Defense surrounds him. Just a short gain on that completion. Made the catch, but he was surrounded for not much room to run. They did a really good job that time of leveraging him out in space. I, I thought he might have a chance to be able to shake loose because he is so elusive. But uh, defense, as you said, did a really good job in the open field surrounding him. Just nowhere for him to go to pick up any more positive yards. Looking for the wideout. He's got an open man downfield, and it's caught. Oh, the ball's knocked loose. The ball bounces out of bounds, so the offense will hold on to possession. Oh, my gosh, Chris. You can almost feel a collective sigh of relief coming from the offensive sideline as that ball rolled out of bounds. The offense catches a break. One more awkward bounce. That ball maybe stays in bounds, and the defense has a recovery. They flip it to him on the jet sweep. Stop after a small gain. Now look at it, second and nine. Boy, I'm a big fan of that jet sweep motion like that. It really forces the defense to stretch them out horizontally and can create some vertical seams through this offense. They got some positive yards, didn't quite get the first down, but I'll tell you what they've done. Planted a seed on this defense that they better defend this style of play moving forward. To the air, it's Milrow. Goes to his right side there for the completion. They bring him down, but that's a solid gain on the play. This offense has become a first down machine, and that's so demoralizing for a defense, especially for those star players who don't sub out as much. But the fourth quarter really starts to wear you out. Alabama getting set for the first and 10 coming up. Trying to run it, it's Haynes. And that run produces a decent gain. So down here in the red zone, every yard tough to find. Here is a crucial play coming up. Here's the snap. Quarterback looking to throw. And he's got it. Touchdown, Alabama. And Kirk, they were backed up to start the drive, but some bold play calling, great execution, and they reached the end zone. You know, it's easy to just kind of pull your horns in and get conservative when you're pushed way back close to your own goal line, but not this offense. They came out, showed the confidence that they have in their quarterback, and it paid off. Nice touchdown. See if they can convert the point after. No problem with the PHC, the lead 14-3. 
Here's the kickoff team. Let's see if they give the returner an opportunity to bring this back. He's going to return it from near the goal line. Solid job by the coverage team. They bring him down at the 16. And the Volunteers' powerful offense back out in the field. The last drive stalled. They were forced to punt it away. Let's see what they can come up with this time. Picks up three yards, so second and seven. See, that's how you limit what an offense wants to do. This time, the defense just won the battle up front at the line of scrimmage, not giving up any big plays. Everybody's gap sound, and it's really solid defense on that play. The Volunteers come to the line in the hurry up. They'll run it here. Tackle made after a solid game. They'll spot the ball for 31. Well, that's just good, hard running by this back. And, man, they've had some good ones over the years. Go back to Jamal Lewis, who's on that 98 National Championship team. Travis Henry, Arian Foster. Boy, Chris, some big physical backs come to mind when you think about the Tennessee Vols. No huddle now for the offense. The back's got it. Uh, they test the middle of the defense, but get nothing. Well, the back just had nowhere to go. How about the defensive line? They eat up all the blocks up front, freeing those linebackers up to be able to make the play. Just a bad play all around for this offense. Second down play coming up for this offense. Now they're running on the toss. Breaks loose at the 40. They make the stop, but not before a solid game that time. That's a football play right there, Chris. This one takes me back a little bit. Toss sweep to the right. Get the ball into your back's hands. Get a lot of people out in front. Control the line of scrimmage. How about the wide receivers? They're doing a nice job blocking downfield. Almost felt like half the offense was out in front of him, giving him a chance to pick up some big yards. Takes the handoff on the counter play. Breaks loose at the 40. They stop him, but it's a first down. Wow, man, this guy's having a heck of a day. Now, they may not win this game today, but you cannot fault his effort, what he's been able to do. He's been the one bright spot as that last carry now puts him over the 100-yard mark. This offense has gotten going at long last. It's another first and 10. They'll switch it up here, looking to throw. Caught in the backfield, it's Samson. To get him down quickly, not much of a gain on that completion. And the defense is so caught up in this guy running the football on this drive, they forgot to defend him coming out of the backfield. Nice positive play here. Offense in hurry up mode. On the shotgun, it's a handoff. They'll stop him behind the line for a loss of one. Boy, this defense is strong up front. Linebackers are flying downhill, able to make plays against this run game. Now they get this offense to another third down. Now you pressure that quarterback and try to build on the lead. So we've reached the two-minute warning, and this offense trying to get something going here and cut into this lead before halftime. They come to the line, a long way to go for the first down, but needing this crucial conversion right now. And he'll drop back here on third down. Contact as he let the ball go. The pass is off target. He got hit as he threw as the third down pressure worked. Hey, it's an incompletion, but it's a nice job by the quarterback. I know it didn't pan out, but the most important thing is he didn't turn the football over and he didn't take a sack. It'll give your kicker a chance to put some points on the board if they opt for the field goal here on fourth down. And he's made it from 50 yards out, showing off the deep range. Boy, this guy has such a strong leg. No problem. Up into the net from 50-plus. Kicker out there again to boot it away. And here's the return from inside the five. 
Makes it to the 16. That's good coverage there. Alabama's offense coming back onto the field. They've punched it in the last possession. Can they do it again? Or will this defense make some adjustments to get a stop? Caught over the middle. It's law. Oh, and nothing but green grass ahead. Touchdown, Crimson Tide. Just ran away from the defense. This guy can do it all. We've seen him go behind coverage and make plays downfield. We can see him catch the ball underneath, just like this. And when he catches a football, he is so dangerous after the catch. This one leads him into the end zone for the six points. And they get set now to try the PAT. Went after makes it a 15 point game. Now they get set to kick it away. Bringing it out, it's Selden. And it'll be tackled right at the 20. That's a good job by the coverage team. And Tennessee's high-powered offense is back out on the field. Not a whole lot of time remaining before halftime to cut into this lead. He's looking deep here. Deep ball is caught for a huge game here. Touchdown, Tennessee. Strong game by this quarterback. Love to watch this quarterback go out and execute in this kind of situation. He's doing a great job of ignoring the scoreboard and feeling a sense of pressure to have to play with more urgency. Right now, he's executing. We're only in the second quarter. Plenty of time to get back in this game. Lining up to try the extra point. PAT up and good to get a little bit closer. Getting set to kick the ball off now. And he'll bring it out from inside the 10. And they stop him at the 23. That's solid coverage. So here comes the Alabama offense back onto the field. This offense scores the defense with a lightning strike. A one-play touchdown in the last possession. Let's see if they can duplicate that magic here. They stop the receiver, but that's a solid gain in that play. The key here, Chris, is the timing by the quarterback. The fact he got the ball out quickly gave his receiver a chance. One more hitch or a slight hesitation, and that's an incompletion or an interception. Pass complete. It's second down now. It's an out route. The catch made. So the offense calls a timeout here. That's their first of the half. Well, they love going to this guy in the slot, don't they? What a mismatch inside. He reels in another one. This guy's automatic. A new set of downs after that completion. Finds a man to the left. Big catch downfield. Tackle made quickly, but a big chunk play for this offense through the air. That is great arm strength and accuracy by this quarterback. And let's not forget the wide receiver's job of bringing it in for that big game. Alabama getting set for the first and ten now. Looking to pass. It's Milrow. Makes the catch downfield. And he picks up the first down before they get him to the ground. Man, Chris, everything seems to be clicking for this offense. And if they can keep this up through all four quarters, it could get really ugly by the fourth. Alabama now operating in the red zone. On first and ten, they'll look to throw it. And it's incomplete. The defender arrived the same time as the football. And now it's second down. Well, 
from the shotgun. Drops back looking for an open man. Graham behind the line. It's Haynes. And a quick timeout call by the offense after the play. Well, the offensive line does everything they can to try to protect the quarterback to give him enough time to find an open receiver. But there's nobody there downfield. He ends it up throwing it to the back. But how about the speed of this defense? Now you're looking at a third down. Grab down the middle. It's Prentice. They make the stop just short of the marker. It's getting fourth down and inches. This is turning into a monster day for this quarterback, Kirk. His passing yards now up over 350. Yeah, and it seems like this defense has tried everything. They're blitzing. They're sitting back in zone. They're trying to double coverage certain receivers. Everything that they've tried is, unfortunately for them, not working because of how well this quarterback is seeing it and throwing today. So they won't take a shot at the end zone. Out comes the field goal team trying to get three before the end of the half. And that is no good. And after the miss, it's still an eight-point lead. Boy, this guy's usually more reliable than this. I thought that was going to be an easy field goal in three points, but instead, he misses, so you walk away with nothing. Final seconds in the first half. They will just take a knee and head to the locker room. Looks like the offense content to run the clock out here and go to halftime. Talk about the second half. Miller's going to wrap up the first half here. Let's kick it down to Kevin Connors with our halftime update. Fellas, what an environment there today. All the animosity and flat-out hatred that comes with a good old-fashioned rivalry game on display in that first half. And there is no better place to start this halftime than by reviewing how this wideout has been a one-man wrecking crew. The kid's been everywhere. And I love how he's willing to go across the middle, but that he also has the Jets to burn these DBs on the deep ball. If this defense wants to actually come back in this one, they better hide his cleats. With that, let's throw it back to the guys to see how this rivalry matchup plays out. And the Vols will kick this away to start the second half. Fields it inside the five-yard line. And he stopped at the 19. Good job by the coverage team. Here comes the Crimson Tide offense onto the field. First play of the third quarter is a handoff. Breaks the tackle, gets into the clear. After second effort, he's brought down, but he's past the marker. How about setting the edge there on the right side of that offensive line? I wouldn't be surprised if they keep going back to the well, pounding it behind that right guard and right tackle and tight end, seeing what additional damage they can do. Alabama comes up with the line quickly. Grab behind the line. It's Prentice. And a big game before he goes out of bounds. The offense keeps churning, gets a fresh set of downs. You know, Chris, you think about it, efficiency has always kind of been the description of a great Alabama quarterback. Man, think about the playmakers that they've had over the last few years at this position. Jalen, Tua, Bryce Young recently. Just a different level of quarterback play and really gives this offense an edge to it. Breaking free at the 35. Out of bounds, but not before a big game. This offense is ripping the defense apart today. One thing I love about this back is how he gets involved in the passing game. Nice catch here. Alabama getting set with a first and 10 coming up. Dropping back, it's Milrow. And he just throws it away there. Safe move, had nobody open. So after the incompletion, it's second down.
There's the snap. And he's looking to throw. He finds a wide open receiver. They forgot about him downfield. He's tackled, but down at the nine yard line. Defense getting pushed around. And here the tight end shows off his hands for a nice game. Love to see the big man get his touches. And this big crowd doing everything possible to inspire this defense down here near the goal line. They'll try to run it in on first and goal. That's a nice wrap up there by the junior. And here comes the noise. This crowd is trying to inspire this defense to make a big red zone stop. Second down, we're going to throw it. Caught behind the line. It's Haynes. Brought down at the five after the catch. The offense really threatening now. Hey, they get some positive yards here. But just from sitting up here looking down, Chris, you kind of have a sense that they wanted a little bit more on that play. That play sets up a third and goal from the five now. Offense looking to throw the ball. And that one is incomplete in the end zone. Hey, the good news is here, Chris, they're still in field goal range, and they didn't cost themselves any points. But they could have more. Got to be thinking about going for this on fourth and short. And the coach elects to send out the field goal unit. So from the left hash, this is just a chip shot. Field goal try, no good. He missed it. And the lead remains at eight after the miss. That's a missed opportunity for some points here. The way they were moving the football, I thought maybe a touchdown at the very least three points, but instead, he shanks it. And the Volunteers' high-tempo offense is back out on the field. Here's the first play of the drive now from the 20-yard line. Going to run it. It's Sampson. We're gaining some breathing room now. Tackled at the 26. And the Volunteers looking to run some tempo here. The shotgun handoff here. He shows off the juking ability, but not much room to run. It's a short game. For the defense coordinator this week, all week telling us about gap integrity, not giving this running back any creases at all. Really sound defense on that play. So from the 28-yard line, it's a third and manageable here. They'll run the option. Pitch to the back. Ball carrier heads out of bounds, but the pickup is good enough to move the chains. First down. Well, that shows you the trust they have in their offensive line in this running game to get to a third down, just trying to come up with a way to be able to keep this drive alive, keep hope alive that you can come back in this game. You rely on old reliable with that offensive line, and they come through for you. Shotgun formation. Here's an inside give. And he's tackled right at the 40-yard line. Well, I know this defense worked very hard at halftime to come up with answers on how to try to slow down this running back after the big first half. And he's already at it again. Offense operating at high tempo now. No huddle. And the quarterback keeps it on the option. Tackle is made very near midfield. Good enough for a first down. Boy, this offense does such a great job of putting the threat of the quarterback and the running back on this defense. It puts the defense in a tough spot because it's really hard to take both away. This time, the quarterback gets out and shows you the speed he has as well. The balls are going to keep this drive moving. They'll switch it up looking to throw. We'll take a deep shot. And that deep shot is caught for a big game. All the way to the end zone. 
Touchdown, Volunteers. That's a crucial response by this offense, but still plenty of work to do here in the third quarter. Well, I love that they're still fighting and competing. You can tell they've made some adjustments at half and try to get them back into this game. And that score is a great start. Coach deciding to go for the two-point conversion to tie the score right here. And the quarterback tucks it and takes off as a design run. And he's not going to get there. The two-point try fails, and they're still trailing. Kickoff team has come on the field now to send this one away. Looks like he'll try to make a play with the return. He'll be tackled at the 18. That's good coverage there. Here comes the Alabama offense onto the field. No doubt the last drive was deflating. They had to settle for a field goal attempt, but missed it. Nice solid run here by this back. Did a nice job of just kind of finding that lane, pick up some positive yards there on first and ten. Offense getting set. Second down play here. The shotgun running play call. They'll tackle him right at the 25-yard line. Well, they didn't bust that for a big play, but it makes this third down coming up a little bit more manageable, and that certainly has a lot of value. So the offense faces a third and manageable here from the 25-yard line. Can they pick up the first on the ground? Making people miss. They've got him, but not before making first down yards. They'll move the ball to the 41. Boy, Chris, you cannot overstate how big of a conversion this was to be able to pick this up on the ground. Yeah, the offense still has the lead, but you can just feel the defense having all the momentum with the points they've been able to compile. And that run right there picks up a first down and can kind of settle things down a bit. Tackled behind the line, it's a loss of two. Well, I don't think the offensive line gave the back much of a chance at all. Now, give credit to the defense. It was almost like they were anticipating a run and got up close to the line of scrimmage in a hurry. Here's the second down play. Off the play fake, he'll look to throw it. Caught in the backfield. It's Haynes. Brought down for a loss after the completion. Not what they were looking for. How about the discipline of this defense here on second down? You're anticipating a pass. They've got pretty much everybody covered. And then once the back has the ball, how about the speed to be able to bring him down? Now it's third down. It's third down for the offense. Back to throw. It's Milrow. Here's the throw deep downfield. Oh, nice play by the defender. Got a hand in there to break up the pass. Boy, this is all about the defense here. Nice stop here on third down, but really it's about trying to get this offense behind the sticks. Once you get them behind the sticks, you can mix up your coverages, really affect the quarterback's eyes and disrupt the timing and the rhythm of what the offense is trying to do. Now we've got another big fourth down coming up. And he puts it out of bounds, so no return. And Tennessee's offense back out on the field now. The passing game was clicking beautifully in the last drive. Right down for a touchdown. Let's see if they can do it again. They'll tackle him at the 17-yard line. Nice job here of controlling the line of scrimmage by this offensive line. The back does what he needs to do to get positive yards on first down. The Volunteers will hustle to the line to run the hurry-up offense. They're going to run it here. Stop short of the 25, but it's enough to move the sticks. And Kirk Duff puts him over 150 yards today. He just put on a huge show on a big stage. Yeah, every time he seems to get his hands on a football, he's making big plays. They have built their offense around his playmaking ability, and it's paid off today. First down play call coming up. How aggressive will it be?
And they'll run it out of the shotgun. The game is two yards, so it's second and eight. Defense does a really nice job here of being able to contain that run game, held them just to two yards. Chris, to me, this changes the playbook a little bit now for the offense. The guy calling the plays at second and eight, that's a different deal. Now he's got to probably think about going through the air instead of staying on the ground. And notice how the balance of this passing game has been on display here. A whole bunch of guys getting involved, catching passes. That's tough to stop. We're set now for the fourth quarter. Who is going to make the crucial plays to take home this W? Keep it on the ground. There's the handoff. A quick juke. The game is good enough for a first down near the 38. Boy, this back is having some kind of game today. He just continues to pile up the yardage. That puts him over 150 yards now, and this defense has no real answers in trying to keep him contained. The balls pick up enough for a first down here. Handoff here from the shotgun. Run it up the middle, but stuff for no game. Well, that's an excellent effort here by this defense, staying in their run fits. they holding their own at the line and making the tackle. The offense just couldn't get enough of a push to get anything going there. Offense right to the line, cranking up the tempo. On the run, it's Sampson. Nice run. He's brought down to the 44. Just love watching this back run. Gets behind that offensive line, lowers his pads, and gets a nice, solid game. Offense looking to keep the drive going here. Third and short now from the 44. Looking downfield, it's Ayamaleva. Let's it go quickly. He pulls it in for a big game. An explosive play, and the offense will set up now inside the 30-yard line. What a pitch and catch by the quarterback and receiver for a big game for this offense. The volunteers hustle to the line to crank up the tempo. Movement here from the tight end. He hands it off from the gun. And they finally stop him, but a decent gain that time. It's a really good, solid run. I know it's not the flashiest big play, but it's important for your offense to be able to get yards like that on early downs. You stay ahead of the chains, and it opens up the playbook for the second and third down coming up. Offense getting set. It's second down. Off play action, he's looking to throw. There's a shot toward the end zone. Oh, and it's batted down by the defense. Great play to deny a touchdown. Most offensive coaches, they're going to be happy taking those 50-50 shots against man. And I'm curious to see if they're going to test this defensive back again because of the excellent coverage he's having out there. So now it's third and short from the 23. Potential four down territory. Let's see what the third down call is. He'll be taken down, but he does have first down yardage. I love this unconventional call by the offense coordinator. Third and medium, a lot of times you're thinking about throwing the football, but instead they're able to run the ball with great execution, and they pick up the first down. And the Vols lining up here on first and ten. And the ball is handed off out of the shotgun. He's got room looking for the end zone. Touchdown, Vols. And they'll claim the fourth quarter lead. Boy, just a great job here by the offensive line and the running back to be able to get this ball into the end zone late in the game like this, now in the fourth quarter, to give them the lead.
and not through the PAT. So the lead is five here in the fourth quarter. Kickoff team is on the field. Let's see if they give the returner a chance to bring this one back. Return starts from inside the five. To be tackled at the 17. Strong job by the coverage team. Alabama's offense coming back onto the field. They were forced to punt last time. Can they get this offense going finally? Get some points out of this possession. They try the middle, but gain nothing on that play. That back just had nowhere to go. Got to give credit to the defense and their run fits on that play. Offense getting set up. Here's second down. There's the handoff. Jukes to get free. And they'll tackle him about the 23-yard line. I tell you, to be able to pick up a nice game like that, those offensive linemen have to sustain their blocks. Gave them a chance at a really nice game. Solid gain in the running play. Third down now. Dropping back. It's Milrow. Fires it to the wide out. This one's going to fall incomplete. Brings up fourth down. It's a good job by the defense here on this third down. And now it's going to bring up a big fourth down play and a decision here for the head coach. And the punt team makes its way onto the field. Looking to kick it away for the second time. And the returner is tackled by this punt coverage team. And the Volunteers' powerful offense back out in the field. And that last touchdown drive, they just pounded away with the running game. Let's see if they can do it again. Scrambling, now he'll make the throw. And it's complete downfield. Tackle is finally made, but the offense will set up now at the 44. The defense is spread all over the field, creating some one-on-one -on -one matchups, and the quarterback makes them pay for it. And the Volunteers looking to crank up the tempo a bit. We'll give it to the running back. Tackle made after a nice pickup on the play. Boy, this guy just keeps playing good football. He's like a bowling ball out there. Gets low pad support, running over top of defenders. Just a pretty runner. And a big part of the reason they're enjoying this lead here in the fourth quarter. The offense going with the hurry up. Here comes a first down pass attempt. Pulls it in. It's white. He gains nine, so it's second and one. Quarterback looks downfield to make this throw. He wants to be able to get the ball to be able to pick up enough yards for a first down. But instead, he gets the ball at least underneath to the drag route and gets some positive yards. Here comes the up-tempo offense. Scanning the field. It's Ayamaleva. And it's caught. Touchdown, Tennessee. Chris, that's his second touchdown of the day. You talk about getting off to a great start. He may have more in it. So they'll try to add to the lead now with the PAT. Extra point up and good. So the lead is 12 here in the fourth quarter. The kickoff team on the field now as they get set to send this one away. And he takes this from inside the five. And they stop him at the 23. That's solid coverage. So here comes the Alabama offense back onto the field. Now coming off a three and out, looking to produce a positive drive here. Off the play fake, looking to throw. 
but to fly out of the wide out. Huh, over the middle. It's long. They stop him at the 49, but that'll be a first down. Well, it's another positive play, but man, look at the clock and look at the score. You still need a couple touchdowns to be able to get yourself back into this game and have a chance to win it. So you got to keep moving here and keep taking those shots downfield. Solid game. They'll spot the ball at the 49. First down. Quarterback sets up, looking for an open man. Quick throw to his receiver. Grab down the middle. It's Henderson. And they'll bring him down, but this offense creates a huge chunk play. They attack the deep middle of this defense, Kirk, come up with a big play. Nice job giving that quarterback time to throw. Good job of making that read to the middle of the field and working against those safeties, and a big play is the result. Alabama comes up with the line quickly. Looking to throw it from the red zone. Here's a screen pass to the running back. Defense flies in to make the tackle behind the line of scrimmage. So the screen on first down is snuffed out nicely, and now they're behind the sticks here. Yeah, the offense tried to fool this defense by going the screen on first down, but give the defense all the credit in the world. They're not fooled at all. Read that perfectly, able to chase that down for a loss. What's the play call here on second down for this offense? Back to pass. It's Milrow. Down he goes. A sack. There we go. The defense is able to finally get some pressure on this guy. That's one way to slow him down. He has had one heck of a drive, but this time, give the defense some credit for getting after him. Now they've got to hustle to the line and get set. Drops back, looking to throw for it on third down. Pressure comes, and once again, no escape. And just like that, you squeeze the life out of this offense. That's another sack by this defense. They have been in that backfield the entire game and a big reason why these guys are enjoying a lead. The offense stays on the field, down multiple possessions. Easy choice. Fourth down. He's throwing for it. And the pass is complete to the tight end. No, he didn't get there. Tackled short of the marker. That is a crushing play as they try to cut in to this lead. And of course, they'll work the clock here, keep it on the ground. And now it's the defense that calls timeout here, trying to get organized and preserve as much clock as possible. Hey, it's a great job of this defense containing the running game. But if I'm calling the plays, I'm not abandoning the running game just yet. I think it's important to have some sense of balance. So throwing and running is essential. Stick with it. And now a timeout taken by the defense, trying to preserve as much clock as possible for their offense. Well, these are the kind of plays you have to make to be able to win the game in the second half. This back had a great first half and has gotten plenty of touches. So you've got to make sure this half is different than how things have gone so far. And now it's the defense that calls timeout here, trying to get organized and preserve as much clock as possible. The balls will have to kick this away. When he comes for his second punt of the game. And that sets up a return. And the coverage team makes the stop on this return. Here comes the Crimson Tide offense onto the field. On first and ten, looking to throw. It's a wide open receiver, complete. Brought down, but it's past the line to gain. They bring him down, but the junior quarterback showing off the cannon. How about the arm strength from this quarterback? He really didn't have any other option than to put it right in there and give it everything that he had. Great timing and a good job of squeezing that in between the defenders. Quarterback spikes the ball to stop the clock. Getting set. Here's second down. Looking to throw. It's Milrow. And with nobody open, he chooses to just throw it away. It's 
So the offense getting set. This is not where you want to be against this defense. Third and long. Dropping back. They're going to throw for the first down. But just gives up on the play. Throws it away. And now it's fourth down. Well, Chris, obviously they had to go through the air there to try to pick up this third down and long. But when you're so far behind the chains, boy, you really allow this defense to dictate things and it allows them to put pressure on your quarterback and can affect the timing as we saw on this play. And he's throwing for it on fourth down. And he lofts one deep over the middle. He fires this throw and it's intercepted. And that's a solid return after the interception. Boy, would this quarterback love to have this one back. They're trying to work themselves back into this game here in the second half. And the defense comes up with a big turnover that could be the nail in the coffin. Different pre-snap look from the linebackers now. So the job is simple here. Just take a knee, run out the clock, and begin the celebration. 